many conflicts around the world, and add North Korea to that one, too. Okay, here's our other big story this morning. Uh, growing concerns over President Trump's ability to deliver his economic agenda with everything else that's going on. This is affecting Wall Street. We saw stocks sell off uh, yesterday in a serious way. In fact, it was the biggest drop in three months. The losses accelerated after news of the Barcelona terror attack. Joining us now to talk about the agenda, former Congresswoman Nan Hayworth. She's also a member of the Independent Women's uh, Forum Board of Directors. Good, Good morning. morning, Nan. Good to see you. Um, there is a lot of chaos in Washington, D.C. as well. Are you concerned that Donald Trump has the support right now to get through his agenda of tax cuts, infrastructure spending, and the like? Well, you know, the great thing is that, really, Lauren, he can point to a lot of accomplishments he's already made. He's put a million Americans back to work. He's actively paring down regulations that have been holding back business, unemployment, uh, applications were at a, a major right. multi-year low. So he's got a lot of great things he can point to. Uh, we know that there's been a lot of uh, drama in the past week. Uh, I know, I am quite certain, and I know because I have contacts in the business community, that people want to see the president get this agenda completed. But they he want just to see health care and tax reform. Nan, he just lost support from major CEOs resigning from his advisory councils. It, it's a, a protest, if you will, against the remarks Highly that he made on Charlottesville. Yes. It is yeah. political. Do you think that political story and the fact that they he's lost their support here publicly does that affect the agenda you know i don't think i i i, I these these are all businessmen and women so they all want to see our economy thrive the president is the key leader uh, to get this done so i i am confident that he has a lot of talent around him he is a businessman the president clearly understands from what we were just talking about how to get mm -hmm. this economy going again. So I think these folks are going to be with him. They are going to be with him to get this agenda accomplished. There were concerns that Gary Cohn, uh, the National Economic Council director, there were rumors that he would, uh, he would leave the White House. Your thoughts on all of that? Well, the strong assurances came out of the White House yesterday that uh, Gary Cohn is not going right. anywhere, which is what we need to hear, and I think that's crucial to confidence as well. So I think, the, especially with the renewed focus on, uh, look, we've got a purpose here as a nation. We have to strengthen our economy so that we can be the bulwark of freedom, mm -hmm. so that we can protect Americans and all uh, people who need to be protected from terror here mm -hmm. and abroad. Uh, I think you're going to see that people are going to move forward as they should and put politics uh, on the uh, And in the, the meantime, as far as investors are concerned, you have the North Korean threat, you have domestic yeah. terrorism, if you, yeah. if you will, right here in the U.S. You have a Barcelona terror attack, uh, ISIS that hates us, and you have this, this uh, political rift in Washington, D.C., so it's difficult for people to feel confident right now. No, you're absolutely right. that This is a perilous world, as it has been. Uh, and eight years of the past administration's feckless foreign policy and dreadful economic policy uh, have uh, brought mm -hmm. us to a point at which the president has a great challenge, but he is capable of meeting it, and he needs and deserves the support of the business community and of our uh, other leaders in Washington, mm -hmm. and I think they're going to come to their senses and do it. We need a strong economy so that we can be strong around the world. Yeah, I, I hope that all happens. Nan Hayworth, thank you for waking up with us this Friday morning. Good Pleasure. to see you.